Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. I've got the low voice once again because uh, sore throat, sick day for me. Upper right in corner, we have Whip starting as the Teal Terran. Bottom right in corner, we have Jayun starting as the Great Protoss. <clears throat> Despite having uh, the sore throat and illness from my daughter and taking a sick day <laughs> in the midst of casting this, we'll see if my daughter interrupts me. Currently, she's in the background on the iPad, so hopefully I'll be clear to cast this. But aside from that, this is the LA Land Finals. And I guess I have kind of a secondary, I guess it's not a sad announcement, but it's an announcement which is, um, I've been uploading replays every single day, and part of my ability to do that has been having content to cast. I am running out of content to cast. Basically, uh, once this is done, I could do the BSL 2v2 tournament, but that's already been cast and uh, run twice and uploaded on YouTube and other locations. Uh, so I think I'm just going to pause on it. Next BSL season starts in January, so that's when I'm going to be able to pick up with Hasu League and or Chobu League again. Looks like Jane's going to get first scout. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I'm still going to stream Korean videos, or Korean stuff, live on Twitch. But I can't upload those to my channel uh, because of, I'm not, you know, trademark, whatever stuff. They upload them to StarCast TV. He's the one who's giving me the Korean replays to do, which is fine by me. Uh, so go there if you're missing my StarCraft casts, I guess, for the short term. For the short term? For the short term. Jane getting first scout, by the way, and I wonder if he's going to go for a gas deal. Getting some good harassment. Approaching it. Does manage to get the gas deal. That's really going to hurt Whip's early game chances. And he's also going gateway first here on the low ground. So first scout plus gateway first. We'll see how this plays out. But anyway, if you guys have games you want to see, I, I, maybe I'll just do some playthroughs here in the background. I still want to have some stuff upload to my channel, figuring it out in the meantime. I do have an idea for something, but it requires some programming, which requires some free time, which requires energy and all that other sort of stuff. I've been somewhat lacking in that, having uh, dealing with a lot of other things in the background. So I'm trying to take it easy on myself so I can get to that, and then I'll hopefully have a, another fun stream thing that I can upload until BSL starts, but I'm not sure how long that's going to take me. So just so you know, if you don't see an upload of something, that is the reason. If you have a suggestion of a game, or if you have, I don't know, replays you want me to cast, Toss in my direction. But anyway, let's get into the game in question. Whip finally scouting. Finding nothing upper left-hand corner. This first cell is going to be marching the upper right-hand corner. Whip has the double depot with the barracks along side defense, which he's going to need. And I'm going to say between these two guys, James versus Terran is, I think, one of it. Well, I've seen him play very, very well against players who play very, very safe who don't take risks, who don't go for early pressure builds. Zealot grouping up with that probe looks like Whip is going to finally get that scout, but he's going to miss that Zealot on its way across. Looks like that assimilator is going to get wiped out, but Whip is one of those guys that he's creative, and he's got all sorts of builds he can throw at you. So I'm wondering how Jayun uh, Jay will do against him, because Jayun, I think, in his PVT, likes to play greedy. Speaking of which, dropping that Nexus. So just marching up with that single Zealot. Looks like he is going to build an additional Zealot behind this. But after that gas deal, which might even just straight up provoke Whip to go for an early counter, although he's floating a lot of, min uh, a lot of minerals to potentially go for that natural expansion. This Zealot still marching around and creating some havoc in the main. Marines and SCVs working on that gas. That gas has been up absolutely forever. This is, uh, this is crushing... Whip's build, and I think he supply, yeah, he supply blocked himself as well. I think because he wanted to have enough resources to go ahead and being forced to drop a supply depot here, floating a lot of resources, which is really hurting his early game. This is not a good start for Whip. Second Zealot making its way out. SCV scouted everything. But yeah, Whip, I believe this is best of seven, by the way. But Whip thus far looking kind of ugly in the early game. Still floating a lot of resources. Has five Marines grouped up, but two Zealots still want to make a, a shot at this, and the Marines do need to defend the low ground, because otherwise those Zealots can take out that SCV rapidly and slow down that already late command center. So now the Marines pushing up another SCV, making its way down to linebacker to try it, and that, com that command center's been paused this entire time. More Marines being built. That Zealot's getting taken out, so nothing looking good for Whip here in the early game. He does have a lot of Marines <clears throat> that he could follow up with some form of attack, but right now... Doing a pretty good job of keeping SCVs alive, but between that uh, between that supply block where I believe you wanted to drop the command center early and everything else, maybe not the best scenario. Only not a lot of defense, though, out for Jayun. He's actually built, so he's getting range. He's only got a single Dragoon, but that is not sufficient to deal with six Marines. Three Marines will kill a Dragoon, heads up. So 
SCV being blockaded on the ramp. First Dragoon out. That second Dragoon's going to have a lot of time before it is planted. So Jayu needs to buy himself some time right now as Whip is careening in with a huge amount of Marines, dropping that bunker right on the front and wailing away at that gateway. Probe's pulling off the line. This might even things up nicely as Probe's could get wiped out. One Marine down. More Marines joining the fray. I like Whip, yeah, mixing up, getting aggressive. And that bunker is going to finish. So now Jayun in a lot of trouble. And honestly, this is sufficient Marines even without the bunker to bully those Dragoons back. SCVs continue to bully on that line, but that natural expansion is going to go down. A second bunker being planted, and that's the... Okay, there is a second active gateway that's going to produce additional units, but all of a sudden, additional Marines making their way across the map. There's a probe maybe to sneak some tech at the 6 o'clock location, but I think Jayun was hoping to go ahead and sneak an early third. Still, five Marines on the front. That natural expansion is going to go down. And now all of that work that Jayun did in the opener is just going to evaporate. This is what I was talking about with Whip opting. He likes getting aggressive. Jayun plays very well against conservative Terrans. But against Terrans who will pull triggers like this, has a little bit more trouble. So Whip might have pretty good odds here in the final. Dragoon surrounded by the SCVs. It gets taken out. Range looks like it's finally finished, but there's just not sufficient troops to fight this off. Robotic Facility and Citadel of a Dune dropping for Jayun is kind of emergency measures to get back into this. This Nexus has not been mining for quite a period of time, and we got Double Factory, mines upgrading, siege tanks, everything else. Looks like that probe has made its way to that 9 o'clock location, maybe to go for a base sneak there. But Jayun now, behind, in, behind economically after all of that, Natural expansion running for Whip. Whip's grabbing a second gas, and Whip sailing away, getting some turrets up just in case. And is it going to be a DT follow-up is my curiosity. I, I think it's going to be DT drop, because here we got the shuttle. Here we got the Citadel of a Dune down. And I think this is Jayun's recovery plan. But I, I have to assume that Whip smells this, because the sheer light amount of Dragoons, the no attempts to re-grab that natural expansion... I think he presumes. He has to presume here. And oh man, a Vulture going to be able to get a mine down to delay that Nexus even further. More Marines continuing to attack forward. That Dragoon going to get boxed out. Whip really pouring on the pressure here. And now the Dragoon's pinned into the wall. Battle SCVs really playing well for Whip here. And more delays of that natural expansion. But despite all that... Templar Archives comes online. The Double Gateway going to drop some, I assume, DTs. Whip has two Siege Tanks, some turret placement to cover that natural expansion. Some more Vultures making their way across. If mines just get planted here at the Mineral only, Whip will be... Well, keep in mind that shuttle has to make its way across. The Siege Tanks will be there. Whip could have some trouble because he doesn't have mobile detection, but he's getting that Academy right now, so might be able to drop comps has to follow this up. Two additional factories... Whip with the supply lead way ahead in the worker count. Natural expansion not yet as of built as of yet. The two Dark Templar fielding, and I'm wondering with the two Dark Templar out in the field, if Jane's going to try to sneak that 9 o'clock base. However, Whip has already snuck to the 6 o'clock to make sure nothing's there. There are mines along the way. Let's see if the shuttle... Oh, man, the shuttle's not even going to avoid the mines here. So Whip sees that shuttle making its way across, should be able to respond. Let's see if he's got a Goliath... He's got plus one weapons in production. It doesn't look like he's going to bother with the Goliath currently. He does have that academy up. Don't see comps at building. So this could be, with some micro, taking out some of these turrets. That could be good play. These factories are somewhat exposed if that, fa if that turret falls rapidly. So the shuttle making its way in. Looking for some sort of area. Mines planting underneath. There the Dragoon drop in to clear some mines, and now the Dark Templars have been spotted. SCV's Guru preparing that turret, however. A siege tank and Vulture right there to squash that. And now James, James' chances of coming out with a victory in game one dwindling. Moving up to three gateways, half the supply of Whip currently. Trying to make his way to two base Stargate as far as a follow-up. Transferring all sorts of probes to the natural expansion. Finally getting a second gas, but this is as Whip is already moving out to go for a secondary attack. Off what looks like five factories, so plopping down the fifth. He wants to end it here. Dragoons dying to mines midfield. Brutal. 
So, yikes. So four dragoon. So how much do we have here to defend? We got four dragoons, two of which are heavily damaged, versus four sea chinks. Sorry. Wow. Just kidding. Versus seven siege tanks. And they're Gion's just going to GG immediately upon seeing that attack force. So game one goes to whip in the final. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.